Hello and welcome to this video presentation. My name is Paul Brett. Today's topic is the Auto Mapper and how to use it with IBM Transformation Extender 10.03. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at Paul Brett IBM. So here we are in the ITX 10.03 Design Studio. I have one project called Auto Mapper and then within that project I have an input.csv file. If I double click on that it opens up in text view. As you can see the CSV file has a header row and then some data rows. If I just close that for a moment and right click and open with in place editor it will leverage the Excel on my machine and display it within a tab and it's easier to review and edit if necessary the information. Okay so that's my input data. Um, on the output side I have a schema uh, output.xsd and it has a root object and within that root object it has uh, zero to infinite repeatable rows and each of those rows has a bunch of fields some string, some date, some integer and some boolean yes no. Okay so let's have a quick look at the map now. Actually no before the map let's look at the input type tree. <coughs> uh, my input CSV uses uh, a file object and then within file there is one header row defined and then zero to infinite uh, data rows. Uh, the rows themselves obviously have each of the fields and defined to uh, validate that data. So let's come out of there. Okay, in the map, I've created a map. Um, map is called test1 and within the output card of test1 which is writing to a file called output.xml I've used the schema um, and on the rules side I drop uh, each uh, repeatable row I drop to a functional map called f underscore each row. Okay, so let's have a look at that functional map, F underscore each row. Okay, on the output side I have a schema um, uh, structure here that has been created uh, for me and it has a sequence child and then within child sequence is all the fields. Now I could run the auto mapper here and it, it would make um, a good guess at where to put all the stuff. So if I click on my root object over in, in one and the out one is already highlighted at the sequence level the auto mapper button becomes available if I click that now uh, let's just skip that warning um, we're, we're mapping those fields to those fields we click next I'm going to leave all those as default for now we click next so it does make a good stab at thinking well, where do you want to put all these fields in the object that you highlighted um, it's going to drop to a functional map to do pretty much every field um, and then when it gets down there it can only actually fully identify two fields to map so the auto map are not really doing a great job there so I'm going to cancel that for the moment <coughs> and in sequence I'm going to manually drop down to another level of functional map if I just got temp I'm going to bring in the whole of the input card oh that's not typing anything let's try that again okay that's typing now let's collapse that let me type yes equals f underscore temp uh, bring in the whole of the input structure and right click and use the functional map wizard to create that functional map okay so now we're in a, another functional map called f underscore temp <coughs> the input structure more um, the output structure more closely matches the input structure now so I think the auto mapper will have an easier time of it so let's go in and highlight my two sections and say auto map uh, ignore the warning again skip over this first page of the wizard and let's have a quick look at all these options map all descendants yep that's fine overwrite existing rules I'm gonna leave it unticked at the moment and I'm gonna leave the radio button in create rules when the names of the sources and targets match let's see how good the all the standard default options are gonna do uh, for us okay as expected it can only map two of the potential fields um, as they are exact matches DOB and bonusable 
I mean we've got car band over here we've got car underscore band so it hasn't really made a good job of this but I'm gonna let the auto mapper do the ones that it can do for now I'm gonna click the finish button okay so that's the auto mapper having its first stab at this let's go and run the auto mapper again ignore warning skip first step I'm going to click on here create rules when the names of the sources and target match by a specific percent so I'm going to leave it 50%, so I'm going to um, slowly reduce this percentage and, and at each point I'm going to see if it can map more rules for me. So let's start with 50, click next. Okay, so the auto map has had a much better stab at uh, doing additional rules here. So it's going to do, do these additional four for me, leaving the original two in there. So I'm going to click finish. That's great, more rules done for me but I think it can do a bit better than that so let's give it another go let's run the auto mapper skip skip this time I'm going to drop the auto mapper down to a 25% match okay so it has done an additional two rules for me pension uh, it has found to be pen group member and building has come from building code so that's good 25% it's it's making some reasonable guesses we've nearly got all of our rules filled in so let's give it one more go at a slightly reduced percentage da, 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 skip skip let's go down to well let's go down to 10 percent and see what it says for us okay at 10 percent it has identified that f name can possibly be culled from uh, by going into a functional map and bringing down the entire input card again <coughs> however this will leave us uh, with another functional map created and seeing as it's taking the whole input card is not really going to be helping as much so I think the auto map is not really helping at this point I can go back and I can change that up to a 15% match I don't think it's going to get any better than that Ah, I'm wrong as it turns out S name it has actually worked out that that should be the last name so it's done an additional rule for us I'm gonna click finish and I think we've gone about as far as we can go for the auto mapper today so I'm just going to finish the last two rows myself manually department and first name have been both done okay so let's build and run our map and see what we get I am going to build we have no problems with the build. I'm going to run. Map has completed successfully. Let's have a look at the output file. It will be in the XML files section. And if I double click on that, there we go. There's a nice XML file for us to look at. Let's click the design. And yeah, it's got all my rows of data in there. Let's just pick one at random and expand all the uh, entries here. We've got. Um, Preston holder, date of birth, blah blah blah, salary, pension, pension, car. All the data appears to have come in perfectly. So there we go, that map has worked very nicely indeed. I am not going to save my changes for now. now obviously the auto mapper is currently quite good and its use of AI to try to um, complete rules for you is is commendable in the future I would like to see this product enhanced so that um, the sliding scale for the percentage um, has a live update uh, an instant uh, feedback of what kind of rules it is actually able to uh, identify I would like to be able to move the slider and see instantly the change without having to go through the different screens of the wizard how about you? What would you like to see? I want to thank you for taking the time to view my video presentation today. If you found it interesting and informative, please hit that like button. If you like, please also subscribe to my channel. Reach out to me on Twitter at Paul Brett IBM. Thank you.